What is up, YouTube? This is the Dragonheart, and the Dragonheart is me. I am actually shooting out to a wider audience today. Because today, well, it's not, well, as you can see on my screen, I am not recording video. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to disable the update to Windows 10. It's going to be two parts. The first part here is the actual physical removing of the update. So the first thing you can do is go into is go into your um, notification area and as you can see here hide you can go in here and hide the updates and notifications for the Windows 10 that <laughs> make sure you don't have it highlighted like I did <laughs> <sighs> that will prevent you from constantly seeing an update block right here now this is the second part is something that not many people know about this is the part that will truly indefinitely remove Windows 10 from attempting to get into it. Now, in order to do this, you need to have the actual window open, but don't press anything. You go into your main screen here, and as you can see, the computer's... Well, okay. For lack of a better term, I'm going right into computer. Right-click, properties. Now, here is the stuff that I have I'm just making sure that I don't have anything sensitive that I need to cover up yeah I got this all the way back in 2009 so I love it anyway okay now that when you get into this pot and this is specifically for Vista XP and 7 you go to advanced system settings when you get to this page you go to hardware hey dark dragon and then from there you go to device installation settings once you get there you want to hit no and never install driver software from Windows update this is the key to it you click never install it because Windows 10 is automatic basically whenever you log into your computer does not matter with if you have internet or not it will always attempt to log you in as soon as you turn on your computer. This is the bait as essentially what you do. This is how it works for me. And basically you may actually find out your computer is actually running faster. I did a ratio and it was actually a 25% increase. Now if you're working on Windows 8, I only have the um, 8.0 beta access and since I don't know what it is I looked it up and these are the this is the actual key coding that you would do in order to change Windows 10 yeah you get to the hardware and then you just do the click ons that I showed you for Windows 7 XP and Vista thank you all thank you all and prepare for